In this video I'm going to share with you how to troubleshoot and replace the windshield wiper motor on Ford Super Duty, but clean up is the first. As you can see lots of wood chips, dirt build up over top, all those vents are all clogged up, we even cannot get to the motor. Okay, next thing, we need to remove windshield wipers. There's a small leverage, pull it up and wiggle it from side to side and it will come out. As you can see, it is a small kind of leverage, you just pull it out and it will release the windshield wiper arm. Pretty simple. Yep, you got it. Yes, you're right. It's the same thing for the passenger side and remove those Phillips screws holding down the plastic panel. All right, let's pop the hood and move inside the engine bay. Okay, we need to undo those plastic clips holding the uh, plastic panel down and as you can see there's a few of them. Very simple, just pry them out and they will come out. Right, I moved my bottom part down and as you know, as you already removed the screws, now pull that weather strip out and remove the cover from the windshield wiper module. There is a windshield wiper motor underneath, as you can see, and my windshield wiper washer tube still attached. Same thing, I disconnected the windshield wiper. Uh, line and same thing I'm pulling it up and removing from the vehicle pretty easy pretty straightforward you will get it just try to be careful not to break the plastic parts and the connector for windshield washer lines pretty simple okay as you can see lots of dirt everything's wet that's not a good situation this is my service truck and that's why probably that motor failed sorry guys I troubleshooted um, relay side uh, load and the control side and ground a few days ago I didn't have my camera with me and it was a little bit in a hurry and that side done but I will make a video later how to troubleshoot the relay how to look for the ground and power on different sides of the relay and check the fuse as well that's the uh, first you want to do <laughs> look at that <laughs> amount of chips you need to clean it up and we have good relay, we have a good fuse, and we know that we need to verify the, the connector to the motor, make sure we have power, we have ground, and we have switch power for different modes. All right, I have my shop pack. I'm going to clean all that sawdust, make sure everything's clean for a new installation. And um, I even cannot get to the bolts because everything just covered with it chips all right that's everything's cleaned up as you can see everything is now exposed and we can undo the wipers okay and there's a 10 millimeter bolts a uh, couple on each side undo those ones yeah if you have any questions or something's not very clear just please ask down in the comment section below i will be glad to help you with your problems fixing your Ford. I like Fords, they're nice and I would say every vehicle is good when it runs. Right, especially with this first generation Super Duties made between 1999 and 2000, up to 2007. They're pretty nice and reliable units with some issues like everything in our life. Okay, now we have our windshield wiper that module almost removed couple more bolts and um, yeah just uh, keep all bolts in place make sure you won't lose anything because it might be hard to find the exact same bolt it's so easy to drop it inside the engine bay okay uh, now I need to disconnect my electrical connector but to get there I need to pull my whole assembly out and get to that connector at the motor Okay, just pull it outwards and it will come out and just get one side out and that way you will be able to remove the rest. Okay, as you can see it fits pretty loose and uh, especially on four trucks that first gen, lots of room and it's honestly working on different vehicles and equipment, especially cars, 
it's so easy to work on super duties and um, yeah doing mechanic work for work yeah that's not a big of a thing to work on for trucks especially those first gen super duties and old old body style okay i almost uh, get it out now i, I also disconnected that that all well i always undone all bolts and now as you can see there's a connector and um yeah that's where you okay i mark the position of the arm at the motor shaft and all those um arms which is aligned to the mounting bracket and the same way will be for me have some reference points when i am going to install the new motor it just uh, makes a little bit everything more easier just in case if something moves. okay now we need to go and troubleshoot as i said a relay side is good we have everything let's check our test light one side to the positive and touch the ground test light lit okay fuse is good relay is okay and we have everything's power and ground at the relay side control and load now we're going to check the power or up to the motor okay i just i'm just using the t-pin and i'm putting at the wire for checking the uh, ground to the motor at the connector i inserted my t-pin and i have a ground v another end of the test light connected to the battery positive for checking ground all right now we are going to turn our key to the on position and we should have a constant power supply to the motor that power will bring your motor like windshield wipers back when they turned off okay let's check that and then i'm connected to the ground on one side of my alligator clip on a test light and i'm checking for the power at the connector simple as that uh, one two three we have a power at the connector to the motor all right let's check for the high speed low speed as you can see the same way we connect it to the ground and i inserted a t-pin and let's check if high and low speed works okay let's see we have light oh and we have no light we have light okay that works i checked the uh, high speed and low speed permanent positions for the wipers they both work and uh, yeah let's do it again make sure we can see that okay good okay it lights and now yep and it stays when i especially on permanent all right now this is another mode when you go into the intermediate mode when you have that time relay on on the wipers there's a multiple positions let's check that make sure we have that time timed wipers working okay let's turn into the first position so click yep one two different uh time frames for the wipers all of them working it means we have a good switch and power is coming to up to the motor and uh, usually sometimes those uh, multi-position switches on the left side of the steering column they failed due to the long overuse but as you can see we have everything if you in this case won't have um power at the motor probably your switch has some issues and we can verify that but as you can see our switch is good our relay is good we have ground switch is good and power is and ground is coming to the motor and i knew motor is defective in a way that all was just clogged up with the wood chips and dirt over time and that just uh well cost the motor to fail because it couldn't turn properly and 
Yeah, short it's probably inside or something's wrong mechanically with that. Got jammed and as you can see I'm just testing different positions and motor needs to be replaced pretty easy with Fords, especially you go to any local auto parts store and buy part right from the shelf and they usually have them on stock, never an issue. And also, every mechanic in the area knows how to work on them. Okay, this is a replacement part, came brand new, not that expensive. Okay, that uh, old one needs to be removed and just, yeah, in the same way we need to put it in. As you can see, there's only few bolts we need to remove and that's why I prefer to have those marks that's we have kind of visual reference how it was originally installed okay undo the bolt for the shaft and there's the three bolts holding the motor to the bracket let's remove them All right those bolts remove and pull the arm from the motor shaft and just pry it with a pry bar and it will come out okay just remember how it was and we have that mark and undo last third bolt and now we have our electrical motor out okay we removed our old motor and uh, yeah it's, it's always uh, compared to the new part make sure they are identical sometimes can be slight differences and that won't work or it won't fit and pay attention to those connectors that can be different especially with electrical parts make sure you compare the to original before you open the package okay clean the bracket you see there's some dirt and make sure it's all clean and ready for installation yeah if you open the package especially with electrical components you won't have a warrant and you won't be able to return them just keep in mind and that way you probably save some money and time all right we have everything cleaned up and ready for the installation and as you know installation is reverse to removal yeah simple as that and uh, yeah again if you have any questions or facing different issues or how to troubleshoot yeah let me know down in the comments below i would like to help you in a way i can okay now position the shaft make sure it fits the slot in the arm and uh, yeah turn it with a wrench with your adjustable one and place the arm over the shaft yeah put the bolt back and is no worries to turn that shaft with the wrench just go like until you can get it fit and it will be fine you won't break it yeah at least i done it a few times it never cost any issues and that way it will work as it should okay yeah let me know if you do it differently it will be interesting all right we placed our uh, assembly in a position in a spot where it was installed and the same way we removed everything just put all those panels all those covers weather strip all back and it should be good all right all right moment of truth guys here we go all our modes are working and yeah i checked uh, before i uh, assembled everything and uh, that part just wasn't filmed but before you put everything back just check make sure it works and the new motor usually will work but you never know it could be defective from the factory especially rebuilt ones yeah make sure you won't go too far and then we'll need to undo again all right yeah i see it's working and that's a thing you should have them be in working properly those windshield wiper blades windshield washer because that's your safety and you will be able to see everything you need yeah keep your blades in a good shape i also have an interesting video how to maintain your wiper blades and let them last up to five seven years and never might change i don't know yeah it's i will put link video in the description below how to make your windshield wiper blades last longer look at that beauty oh she's good to go yeah 7.3 power strokes legendary and yeah okay guys see you soon yeah have a good day and um, yeah let me know if you have any questions bye bye